Hey everybody, this is Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to do a sandwich pour on it. Happy Friday, by the way. And on Fridays I like to do just simple pours. And I had a subscriber ask me oh, a couple weeks ago to um, do some simple pours. So this is one of them. Uh, now a sandwich pour, it's called a sandwich pour because you put a lot of white, you sandwich white in between your colors. Uh, some artists sandwich the white between every color. I don't think I'm going to do that today, but I am going to sandwich the white in there every, every so often. So let's go over my paints. Today I have Liquitex Basics Primary Yellow. And Amsterdam Vermilion, which is a very pretty color. I have a Blick Relic Fire Red. Just going with basic colors today. And a Blick Relic Green Oxide. And I am using the uh, the uh, Artist Flow Acrylic White, uh, Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. And I think I'm, my last color is Blick Relic Primary Blue. And I think I've gone over most of my colors here. Oh, one more. Blick Relic um, Turquoise. So I'm going to be using two cups. And I put down a, a, just a real light layer of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White here. And my pouring medium today is my usual. It's two parts flow troll to one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and about a teaspoon of the Liquitex gloss medium. That's my go-to pouring medium. I really like it, it works well for me. So unless I'm doing a special type of pour, that's the usual pouring medium for me. Oh, and I did add a silicone. I added one drop of the Montmartre silicone. And if you've watched my channel before, I always say this silicone is very reactive. So I put one drop in just the turquoise and that um, primary blue. That was it. So we'll see how many cells we get on this. So let's get started with layering the cups. And I'm just gonna start with some white. And I'm not going to layer them in any particular order, but I think I will mix it up today. And instead of pouring down the side, I am going to pour, pour the paint right down in the middle here. And I'd like to take this time to thank all of my subscribers. My, my channel is growing so nicely, and I really do appreciate it. Matter of fact, if you um, really like my videos, and you know of other artists that you think would like to watch them, if you could share them, that would be, that would be great. It means a lot to me that I have uh, loyal subscribers. And as much as I really enjoy the painting part of it, I even enjoy as much, if not more, the teaching part. And I know I've said that many times before. I'm going to add some more white in here now. If there's something I can teach someone or help them along the way. I'd be, I, I really enjoy that part. 
Matter of fact, if you ever have questions, please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. I try and check my comments um, every day if I can, and if not the next day. And I will have plenty of paint for this, this painting here, this canvas. And I will add some more white. Trying to pour the white just so ever so gently so it doesn't sink down underneath the other paint. It's a very pretty vermilion color. It's orangey, but you can tell it's got a lot of the red tint to it also. And I will add a little more white, and then I'll be able to uh, flip the cups and see where this takes us. Okay. And I think I am going to flip the cups the long way here. So give this first one a try. Not too bad. And the second one. Okay. Let them sit there a minute. Hope you all are doing well. And keeping busy during this uh, quarantine time. Finding things to do. I know a lot of you are being um, home teachers for your children. Okay, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> Just tip that back a little bit. A lot of cells already. And here's a, whoops, and here's my second cup. Not doing too well on that tipping, am I? Okay. I'm just going to start to tip. See what we get. And what I'm going to do also is I'm going to take my skewer and if many of you have seen me do this, I'm just going to run it through here just to mix it up a little bit. Give the eye a little something more to see.
And also, I think I will torch. See what we bring up here. Okay. Now let's get to tipping. Very pretty colors here. Very light. Gets what I wanted. Light and springy. Just trying to get over my edges here. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it now. This, this looks like purple here, just very muted. It's kind of nice. Also in this corner, it's very muted with this red, very pretty. The only place I'd like to take some paint off, I think, is down here, very carefully. Okay. I'm going to bring that back. And I will take some paint off down at this end because there's a lot of paint on this on this canvas yet. I'll take a little bit of that off. Just do a little bit of stretching out here. Okay, and I'm going to bring that back. The more I stretch, you can see those cells coming up also. Just taking a little bit off down in this area. I don't want to lose my big cells because I think those are pretty, pretty nice. And I will bring it back. Okay. Just going to take a look at it here a minute. Has a lot going on. Big cells, little cells. There's some cloudy effect on both edges here. There's cells within cells, which is pretty nice. They have lacing here, so there's a lot going on. Stripes.
Just going to see if anything else comes up here now. And I'll clean off the bottom. You can see how reactive that Montmart um, silicone is. Just two, two very small drops. This painting reminds me of summer. And I am looking forward to that. For it to get warmer. Okay, I'm just taking another look at it. And I really like it. I don't think there's anything I want to do to it. No more tipping. And I've torched a couple times. And I think I'm going to get you down for a close-up. Okay, we have the upper left-hand corner here. Lots of little cells there. I really do like the rounded cells. Normally you don't get that with Floetrol. You get that more with the glue and the water. But I, I was lucky enough to get a few of the rounded cells. Very nice. I'll take you up the middle here. Very colorful, very light. That's what I said, it reminds me of summer here. And this is the upper right-hand corner. And I really do like the vermilion and the green and the yellow and the red, how they played so nice together. And these are the cells that I think are just super round, cells within cells. So let me know what you think about this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And again, thanks to all my subscribers and my watchers. I really do appreciate all of you. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.